Come to Denny's. They've got such a good selection. Ooh, look at berry stuffed French toast. Good morning, everyone. Asha here from Pandemonium. We decided to come into Flagstaff, so we're gonna grab some breakfast before we go do something. I ended up getting the waffles with some egg, sausage, and bacon. Jeff got this burger. Look how huge that is. It's like it's humongous. Well, breakfast was yummy, and since we were in Flagstaff, we decided to come here to Bushmasters Park. It is in the middle of Flagstaff. It's a beautiful, breezy day. It's in the high 70s, where back at home, it's going to be in the high 80s, 10 degrees hotter. So we decided to come here, where it feels lovely, and escape home base. In a couple days, it's going to be getting into the 90s back at home, so... We're probably going to do a camping trip and I think it's us to stay in the 90s for a week. So that's how long we're gonna go camping for. They do have a playground here, a pavilion with picnic tables. There is a short trail that goes around the park. Oh, they also have a volleyball court. We've been to this park before to have lunch, but we've never actually done the trail that goes around the park. It is connected to a neighborhood right there. They even have a horseshoe pit here if you like throwing horseshoes. Well, that's weird. It looks like somebody's lost their bike <laughs> or just left it behind. Nice place to lay and chill on the grass. They also have basketball courts here. Like I've mentioned, we've come and had lunch here at the, where the pavilion is, but we've never actually explored. Look at all the wild Indian paintbrush. That's the orange flowers growing in the field. And they have the Rocky Mountain Penstemon, which is native. I grow this back at home. I think there's a dog park here too, right there. And then multiple pavilions and another kind of playground. Oh, I didn't know the park was so extensive. And it looks like it's hooked to different communities. Here's another residential area. So just past where we came from is a secondary parking lot. This is a much bigger park than I thought originally. They do have restrooms here and another pavilion. They do have the Bushmaster roller rink here. Nice. Yeah, there's a closer shot of the dog park. That's not the one we usually come to. The one we usually go to is at Thorpe Park, which is on the other side, the west side of Flagstaff. Oh, neat playground. I said this when we were back in Myrtle Beach that playgrounds nowadays have definitely um, gotten better than when I was a kid. <laughs> wow, I didn't know there was this much here. There's even a skate park. How cool. Seems like they had a renovation project here at Bushmaster Park. And one more look. Definitely a lot bigger than I thought or realized. Okay, what a nice park. We'll definitely have to take advantage of this more often whenever we get to Flagstaff. I think the dogs enjoyed it. If I remember correctly, I think this is actually where we had our lunch, was at this picnic table. Just wanted to get a closer look over here. They do have tennis courts and basketball courts. This is a popular park for finding a nice shady soft spot under a tree and just taking a nap. There are several people doing it. It's a beautiful windy or breezy day today. Okay, we made it back around to the horseshoe pit. Well, that was enjoyable. We decided to take 180 and check out some of the dirt roads. We had camped here last season in a specific place, but there's a new place that we want to actually camp at. We're gonna see how busy it is. Right, Kellogg? Yeah? Let's see how busy it is. Looks like they're doing a little cleanup. Oh, and maybe some wood. We made it to the spot and I left my microphone inside the truck, but we did end up finding a beautiful spot. Actually, we've been here before. I've never camped here before, but I've had friends that have camped here. So we wanted to come check it out and see how busy it was. And it wasn't busy at all. It was actually only two vehicles here. 
which I was surprised, but I did hear from a friend that the ranger was coming through and enforcing the 14-day, making sure everybody adhered to the 14-day rule, so they were patrolling this area. Here I was discussing the fire pit and how people leave their trash inside the fire pit, which is a shame. They put things in here like metals that don't burn up and just become unsightly. But I think that we're going to head back to the property and I'm going to get my rig packed up and I have a few more projects to get done. And then we're going to come here and camp. So beautiful here with an awesome view. They do have a road that leads to the tank, but it is closed. Road closed. No ATVs, no vehicles, no motorcycles. Foot and horse travel only. Ready to go back to the heat, Kellogg? Perfect. You enjoy camping at 180. It's nice and shady in most spots. And the camp spot that we camped at last year is just several miles down the road. Well, probably like 10, 15 miles. We found another camp spot, but there are absolutely no views at this one. I definitely like the other spot better. Well, this is empty as well. Nobody here. Except three left behind tires. <laughs> I guess they didn't want their tires. Oh, four. There's one behind the tree. Huh. Well, that's just weird. We're just following the road back a little further. It does get kind of rough. And I think, no, it keeps on going. Just turns always looks like it ends but it does keep on going oh look at the deer over there by the rock croppings there are really no views but it is nice and secluded i think this is where we're going to turn around here oh there's a whole family of them there's three of them we only saw one at first you see it kellogg where's it at it's so blind sometimes well, it's been several days and I got everything done that I need to get done at RV Home Base. And I am packed up. The truck is connected. Like I said, everything is done here. I got all the plants planted in, but that's on the Garden Days channel. Remember, if you haven't checked out the channel, I'll leave a link in the description below. Yep, everything is kind of put up until we get back. I put my side-by-side -side up and... The shipping container is locked and closed. We've got all the security cameras on. A couple of our neighbors are staying behind and I guess they're gonna just deal with the heat. It's really not that bad here. When it's 90 degrees, I can go inside in the AC and just edit or play video games during the hottest part of the day. But it, this gives me an opportunity to just go camping for a week and it's nice up there, I showed y'all. So we're going to go do that. I didn't mention this yet, but we had other friends that have come. Dan and Vicky are here. They're in the back 40 there. And Jimmy's going to stay here for a little longer. He might meet us for the last couple of days. So yeah, we're ready to go. I also have my e-bike in and everything else is ready. Jeff and Kellogg are waiting. There were a lot of gardening projects. so. It'll be nice to get away for a little bit and take a break from that and let the plants get established and all that. I did get all the drip system run and working, so the plants will be good. Okay. Hey, Momo, you ready to go on a little adventure? Another thing that I didn't show is that I had two pack rats that had tried to make a nest in my engine bay, but um, I found a way to actually get into that cubby hole that they like to go into and I have a bamboo stick, so around 10, 11 o'clock, I usually go in there and check, and twice I've seen a pack rat, so I just take that bamboo stick, and I go in there and rattle it around, and it scares them off. And the last time I did it, which was about, I think three days ago, I haven't seen any signs. Maybe I scared it for good, but maybe not, so. But yeah, let's go ahead and get on the road. You ready for some AC, Mumu? I see you panting over there. Oh, I gotta take this down. Mumu, look, we have a stowaway. <laughs> hey, Olive. <laughs> oh, no. Where do you think you're going, Missy? Huh? We're getting ready to leave. Mumu, you ready? You ready? 
All right. Bye, home base. We'll see you in a week. You ready, Jeff? All set. I figure we'll stop up by the mailbox and check the tow of the hitch and the, and the mail at that time. Okie dokie. All right. Oh, oh, there goes the truck. Lock it in. Lock it in. Yay, off for another adventure. <laughs> Glad I got everything squared away at the property. Open sesame. Gotta make sure Jeff makes it through, and he did. I think the gate is programmed for one minute, so. All right. Off to another adventure. We ended up finding a spot up front. We did pull towards the back, but unfortunately someone already had taken that spot. But this will definitely do. We are right by the road. Hopefully people don't fly down this road. We haven't seen many vehicles. I'm gonna get my truck unhooked and get set up a little bit. Come on. Well, the truck's unhooked, but oh my goodness, look at how dusty it is. It was nice somebody left some firewood behind, but there is a fire ban, so no campfires. Good morning, Mumu. How are you doing? It's a beautiful day, but I see there is a smoke haze and there is a wildfire. So hopefully it doesn't get too bad, because if so, we will have to move locations. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but it is definitely smoky, more so over by those trees. But if it gets too close to us or the smoke gets worse, I'm sure a ranger will come by and let us know. They usually do. Jeff and I were just talking that it looks hazy, but you don't smell smoke. But if you look over at the mountain in the distance, you can see that it's very kind of hazy over there, or smoky. So Jeff said he walked back here early this morning and the black van had pulled out. So if we wanted to move locations, we could go back here where our friends had camped last year. But I don't know. I, I really like our spot over there. It's right up to the front. And there hasn't been any traffic. The only traffic that's come by, I think, were some cyclists and then a jogger. And I doubt I'd really want to move to the spot that actually has most of the smoke. Because over here, by the Class A and by us, it doesn't look smoky at all. We might be blocked by a hill or something. But Jeff just mentioned that it is coming from Belmont and it's back behind us in that direction over there. Puppy puppies. 
Oh my god, I don't know if y'all can see it. Look at all the grasshoppers. You just walk and they're all over the ground. Grasshopper invasion, Moo Moo. I think we'll just stay right where we are. Oh wow, look behind us. That's Humphrey's Peak right there. You can barely see it. It's so smoky. I can start to see now that we are a little smoky. I guess you can't really see it when you're up close. We've made it to the main road and we're going to head back to camp. So Jeff was just mentioning it was clear early this morning, but now it seems like it's starting to get thicker and thicker. So I don't know if they're making it or burning something. It's a controlled fire or wildfire. So I guess we'll just have to keep an eye on it and see what happens. I think Jeff found some Bob Wire, or Kellogg did, and they got wrapped around him. Huh. Well, we've made it back to camp, and we have some errands to run in Flagstaff. So hopefully the smoke clears up. Yeah, it does look like it's getting worse. I guess we'll have to see. Good, beautiful morning. Well, the smoke did dissipate, and it is cleared up, thankfully. We are on day four of camping here at this spot, so we just have a couple more days. Good morning, Kellogg. I see you peeping out the window there. <laughs> He's just watching the birds. Does look like it's going to be a lovely day today. We are into the weekend, and there has been a group of people that have moved over. We might stay a little longer than a week. We have two weeks to be here. Momo, you ready for some breakfast? You can get it? Get it? <gasps> what? <gasps> get Get it! <laughs> if we do decide to stay a little longer, I'll definitely move from this spot because the internet is really bad here. But we tested it back there. It, it's because this big mountain right there is blocking the signal. But we tested it back there and it was pretty good. So yeah, we will definitely move back there, but we'll wait until everybody clears out after the weekend. Cause I believe it's just weekenders. We went down there and scoped it out and it seemed like just a couple of families or a big family. Morning, Kellogg. I'm not sure if it was the smoke, but I think it was, but I got a bit of elevation sickness. I couldn't sleep well, and I was just feeling really tired this morning, but I went back to bed for an hour and then got back up, and I was feeling a little better. I don't know. I just had a night of uncomfortable sleep, and I didn't feel well, and I know elevation sickness can do that to you, so... But I am feeling better now, and hopefully it's passed. We are in a much higher elevation than back home. This is 7,400, and the reason why we came here was because it's cooler than it is back home by 10 degrees. So hopefully no more spells of elevation sickness, and I can enjoy this spot. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I want to thank you all for hanging out with us. Hopefully we'll see you next time where we'll do some more exploring here at this campground before we move on. Say bye puppies. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully we'll see you in the next video. If you want to check out more videos, they'll be right over here. Or if you want to subscribe or check out Patreon. Bye for now, y'all. Mwah.